What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. Now I have still not have had any luck on finding any hidden fates in stores yet. I've gone out three or four different times and basically just like everybody's luck, this set is so freaking hard to find right now. So eventually we will open some up here on the channel, but uh, can't exactly say when that's gonna be. But while I was out the other day looking for hidden fates, I did find something else I've been waiting for to come out. Though it isn't Pokemon related. We are going to open up the 2019 Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold Sarcophagus tin. Now I have got to say for a little card tin, this thing is crazy looking. I mean, very nice design, very sleek. It got the cool little millennium eye there. I mean, this thing is just all around awesome. And of course you can see me in it, but the shininess aside, this thing actually, like I said, is pretty awesome. You get three of the 2019 mega packs in here and you also get a random promo pack, which is actually pretty cool. It gives you a little bit more incentive to buy more than one of these. Now I've done my research on this thing just a little bit. From what I understand, and no card in these mega packs is very expensive. I think the most expensive would be around 10 bucks, something along those lines. So like I said, not too awful bad. And these mega packs are actually comprised of a lot of cards from different sets. And besides that, it has some of those very cool alternative art cards from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th Anniversary Legend Collection box that we opened a while back. So very excited to get some of these in English. And man, if I can get any cards from this thing, it is just a good day because I absolutely love this little booster box here. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get this tin open. So it's got a little description on the bottom of everything that comes in it. So we will look at that once I get all this freaking plastic off. If we can read it here which it's a little hard to read, but if you want to pause it, there you go. Like I said, you get three of the 2019 Mega Packs, which come with three holographic cards, one ultra rare, one super rare, and one prismatic secret rare. And then of course here at the bottom, it has all of the different promos that you can get. And like I said, some of them are the special art by Kazuki Takahashi. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened here. Ooh, right off the bat, I see one of the cards I actually wanted to get. So, yep, there we go. There's the cool tin. Other than that, not much to it. I will store some of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I do open up off camera in that, so that's good. But yes, there we go. Like I said, very happy to get that card. I did not pull it in the Japanese box I got, so as long as I've got it some way, I am happy about that. So let's go ahead and open this little promo pack up. You can also get some alternative art for the God cards, which is pretty sweet. I would love to get one of those. Pretty good chance of it though, so we'll see what we got here. So first up we have Paladinium Oracle Mana, which I believe is like Dark Magician or something like that. Well, Dark Magician Girl, I should say. Another one of the very cool Takahashi arts there. I love that. Ooh, and then we got Blue Eyes, or sorry, my bad, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Very cool, that alternate art there. Ooh, we got a, man, that Monster Reborn is insane looking. That is so cool, I love that. So let's see, our next card here is, yes, we did get one of the God cards. We got the Wing Dragon of Ra. I was kind of hoping to get Slifer, but I am happy we got at least one of them. That is some wicked looking art, very cool. And on the end, we've got Dark Ruler No More. I will say these Yu-Gi-Oh! Secret Rare foiled look so cool. So that is nice, I am happy with that. Nice little promo pack there, lay these all out. Very happy with these two cards. Might have to hit another one of these just to see if we can get some more of them. But yes, here we go, 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Mega Pack. Absolutely huge booster pack, 16 cards. Uh, I don't know the card trick. We won't do one, we'll just go ahead and look through it. Let's see here, we got Mythical Institution, Crystal Master, uh, Performer Pal Gold Fang, Gravekeeper Headman, a Psychic Ace, uh, Interrupter Resistor. I've said this before, and Yu-Gi-Oh! has some of the most ridiculous freaking names. There is our, I believe, Super Rare? Yes, I believe Super Rare. We got Cyber Dragon Hertz. Next up, I believe, is our Prismatic. Yes, we got Danger Response Team. Very cool looking art there. That dude looks wild. And our Ultra Rare is... Crusadia Reclusia? 
I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce half of these cards, but very cool. All right, and then we've got our rare, I guess, Network Trap Hole, Galaxy Brave, Crusadia Crawler, a White Stingray, uh, what is this? Sky Striker Maneuver Jammering, Jamming Waves. Uh, this little thing. The Dolce Fresh Sistart. Kind of cool. And then a Monster Reborn Reborn. What in the hell? Kind of cool looking art though. I do like that. That is a ton of Monster Reborns. I just noticed that. Holy freaking crap. So, alright. That is our first pack. Like I said, uh, I'm not... Too big into Yu-Gi-Oh! I do buy packs from time to time when new sets come out. Uh, so, I don't exactly know what is good, but I do like the art on these cards. So let's see what we've got here. We got Bear Blocker, uh, Patchwork, Fluffle, a Thunder Dragon Discharge, Vampire Domination. A man, what in the world? Training for hire for all your training needs. Stupidly long names, too. We got Salmon Great Mirror. Uh, okay, there is our super rare. We got F.A. Dawn Dragster. Kind of cool looking race car there. We got the World Legacy Succession. So both of our secret rares have been spell cards. Not complaining, though. Uh, then we got Nightmare Phoenix. That thing looks insane. Very cool. My camera's having a tough time picking up some of these cards, man. This is insane. We got Noble Knight Custian. Kind of cool looking. Uh, Revan Dread Evolution. Sky Striker Mecha Eagle Booster. Giant Ballpark. That looks creepy. Uh, Goki Heel Ogre. Uh, what is this one? Three Trolling Trolls. And then uh, Vampire Grism. Kind of cool looking there. All right, here we go. Last one of these Mega Packs. I've thought about getting some of these Mega Packs or Mega Tins in the past. I've always gone against it, but this one, I mean, it's too cool. I couldn't pass it up. Let's see what we get in this last pack. We got Salmon Great, Emerald Eagle, a Link Turret, Vampire's Domain, Wiz, Sage for Hire, that looks pretty cool. I do like that art. Uh, Seal, Stargeist for Hire. Uh, Agave Dragon. That looks intense. So many freaking heads. Let's see. Oh, okay. There is our super rare. We got Great Fly. Oh my god, that thing looks disgusting. Very cool art, though. I do like it. Ooh, oh, okay, we got Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. That looks amazing. Oh, I am really happy with that one. I will take that. All right, let's see. On the end, we've got here. I am not even going to attempt to say that name. It looks freaking sweet, though. Robotic Dinosaur, who doesn't like that? And then our rare is Staring Contest, Beast Magic Attack, Crystal Keeper. White Stingray, which we've seen you already. Haven't got a lot of doubles, I will say that. Crusadia Power, World Dino Wrestling, and Two for One Team. That is just goofy looking too. But all right, yeah, that was um pretty sweet. Like I said, I will probably get some more of these. Let me take out these secret rares and stuff. Uh, like I said, I don't know too much about Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, especially with all of these new rules and crap. But I do still like to open the cards now and then, especially these big collections, tins like this. So, if you would like to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. I am more than happy to oblige you all and open some of these every now and then. Can't help it. But you know what? I gotta say, though. The Winged Dragon Ra is my favorite thing from this tin. Back when I used to play, the uh, God cards were the big thing back then, so I've got a soft spot for them, and I absolutely love this card. But alrighty, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe, and check out another video while you're at it. 
Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications when more videos go up. And as always, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. See you.